Welcome back everyone. Here is the plan for today. We got some PVC pipes and Colby, what are we gonna do? We're gonna snorkel my four wheeler. He gave us full permission to do this. Sawyer's watched some videos so he knows what he's doing and yeah, kinda, but hopefully we do this right and hopefully you can take this through the ocean or something. So how tall of a snorkel are we doing, Sawyer? 16 feet. 16 feet, okay, that's not bad. What? Are you fine with that or do you yeah. want a longer one, Colby? I don't know, I was kinda of thinking about taking this thing down the scroggin. Might yeah. need to be a little. That's a little true, that would get us a lot of views on YouTube. All right, so that's the plan. We got the PVC pipe. We got a longer PVC pipe. This is just so we can do the little angle of the dangle in there. And uh. Angle of the dangle. <laughs> so my plan is look, we go, yeah, this, this is your normal one. We yeah. take this out for starter. We can go right through here and then come up through right here if you want to hold here. Sure. Sound good? Yeah. I'll try not to screw stuff up. Mm, sounds good. Sounds like a deal. All right. <laughs> yeah, and if your four wheel is almost running out, and you're like right here, you can seal your mouth against it and breathe in through your nose and blow it through your mouth and give it mouth and give it enough air to keep running. You know? Yeah, she's good. This will be so hit, sweet. So I'm gonna cut the video off until we get this done. Just so you guys don't think we're stupid, we gotta still add length to these hoses so water doesn't get in there. Add some silicone and some glue to the pipe, also round and then. This off. We'll be done. In case you smack your face into it. Holy sh**. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> well, the snorkel is finished. It's a few days later. And oh Sawyer, shit. tell them what you did. I made braces and tie downs because Put tie, this tie downs are temporary. Metal We're cutting this bracket thing, so there and all these tie downs. But all the hoses go right up to the top. We're gonna leave it this length for today. We probably may cut, cut it, it shorter. I cut it there but after. Colby, you ready to go deep? Oh, I'm so ready. So we came back to the spot where Camden sunk his four-wheeler and this is what Colby's gonna go through first just to make sure everything's sealed off and then hopefully we'll go through some deeper stuff later today. Yeah, Colby, just pull right through. Don't sit in the water at all. First snorkel of the day. Go the other way. There you go. Go the other way. You're gonna get wet. Yeah, okay. Now is the time we don't worry about getting wet. Yeah. Oh, she quit. Oh, my phone was in my pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was smart. Here, okay. Here, let me take I it. Have no power. Yeah. She's deep. You wanna go back and uh, take my phone with you? Here, I'll take it. Yep, you gotta start this one out. Told you, bro. Well, for okay, try starting her up. Trial and error. Get, it gets I better. Have no power. As soon as I got in, nothing. Hmm. I'm sure it still start right up. <laughs> underwater. <laughs> starting the old Honda up it's underwater. No, actually, let's just push this thing out right now because we're still kind of in the phase where we're testing it. 
It's only deep right there. Like yeah. it gets pretty shallow right here. We might have to go to the shop first because clean your yeah. carbs. Yeah. All right. Colby's carbs are a little dirty, and he's got like no power going through that. So we may have to do that before he goes through anything else. Well, first attempt did not go as planned, but we're gonna go back, clean Colby's carbs, and figure out the problem. It's not an air issue, it's a gas issue, so hopefully it won't take much and then he can snorkel it some more.